well, not no police cars, no blues and twos yet. That's what I'd love actually, just a great for the video. <laughs> as long as they're not coming for me. But yeah, I would uh, I'd have probably left by now to be honest with you, uh, but because I'm waiting for the copy of Pace, I thought I might as well hang around and keep the camera rolling. Hmm. This one might be a bit of a, uh, a long one, people, um, so you're welcome to fast forward it or, or don't watch it, it's up to you. Well, I hope you do watch it and like and subscribe and all those nice things. And anyone wants to share it, you're welcome. Oh, yeah. It's nice to be out again with my camera today. It's been a long time for me, really. But yeah, I will be trying to get more content. Out. But one thing I wanted to say, actually, people, is if I can get to a thousand subs, um, I will prompt this as a promise as well, and it will be as soon as I'm like a thousand and something, so I don't lose a couple of subscribers on the way to the place. But um, is I'll do a live audit literally an hour after I've got them things. I'll literally get a taxi and straight to the nearest police station and I'll do a police audit. Night time, day time, morning, whatever time. I'll do it. <coughs> yeah. Yeah, don't seem to be much going on at the minute. Uh, so, hmm, I think I might just Take another walk back, maybe. Just uh, see if uh, that triggers one or two. I've got a funny feeling that it's gone around the uh, offices now that around the camera, leave him alone, he's not doing anything. We don't want to look bad. <laughs> we already, uh, oh yeah, that was it, wasn't it? This is the one that um, went up to Nobody's Paw and about Ashley, wasn't it? It was uh, Ash Phillips, it was about him. Yeah, he was trying to, that was cheeky, that was. Hmm. All right, I'm just gonna a little walk round like this. See if there's any police cars coming. So uh, maybe possible catch one. Not catch it, but you know, I'll catch it on film. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> I ain't got a very big net. All right. Yeah, it's been, uh, apart from that one Karen, uh, I think it's uh, been pretty good. Let's have a little look. Right, what I might do people, because otherwise this is going to be a bit of a long and a boring one, is uh, I might cut it in a minute and then just put it back on when I go in to get the copy of Pace. Right, so anyway, hope you enjoy people. It's a pass from me, apart from the Karen, that's, I'll have to give it a half pass for that to be honest. So yeah, so I won't, uh, so unfortunately, oh hang on. I'll leave the camera rolling, we've got someone coming. Let's see, people. Let's see. Let's get the tripod set up. Yeah. Make a few pictures. It's just in my left now, I think it will pass. I've got a funny feeling he might actually come up to me. Alright, buddy. Uh, you know. Alright. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Um, Why is that? Could you identify yourself, please? Why do I need to? Um, because you approached me. And if you don't, it's no worth talking to you. Are you a police officer? What's that got to do with it? Well, in that case, don't need to talk to you. Why are you filming? Because I'm, because I'm wanting. I'm a blogger. Okay. Or a vlogger. Get off the police premises then. Sorry? You want to get off the police premises and do it from elsewhere? Because, uh... Nah, I'm sorry, mate. You don't know your law, do you? Go and speak to a police officer. <laughs> they might tell you. I don't think then what are you on about then? What are you on about? You're the one that's going on, I don't care. <laughs> I'm just working mate. Oh yeah? Yeah. 
What are you doing? Standing here talking to you at the minute. Yeah. yeah. Got a feeling you are a copper, you know? Have you? Yeah. You certainly seem like one. Do I? Yeah. How, the, how would you know? I can tell, can't you? Can you? Yeah. I can tell what you are as well. And what's that? A blogger, apparently. Yeah. That's because I told you. Let's see how good I am. Yeah, you worked it out. You're a proper detective, isn't oh, you? I tell you, it's unbelievable, isn't it? <laughs> no, I mean, I, come on, man. What are you come like? On, what, sorry? Nothing, mate. We're just, well, fishing, isn't you, mate? Fishing for what? I don't really give Details. a Details. I really don't care. No? I, I, I really don't care. There is much no. bigger things going on in the world than me to worry about. Do you know what? I totally agree with you, pal. Yeah, absolutely. Life is yeah. far too complicated to worry yeah. about. Do you know what? You're actually right, mate. I do agree with that. Mm. What's going on at the moment is absolutely mad. Yeah. You know, have you, Australia. You what, sorry? Australia at the minute. What's happening in Australia at the minute? Mate, catch up on the news, mate. What, they were firing like rubber bullets into the crowds. And... Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I've not seen that. Hmm, mm, honestly, mate. Mm. You won't see that on the BBC, Dave. Oh, I've not seen that at all. Right. I'd prefer it if you didn't publish my photograph, though. Um. Well, really, you shouldn't have interacted with me, buddy. Well, I can talk to anyone. Talk to anyone in the street. Yeah, and I can photograph anyone I see in the street. So, do you know what I mean? I'm not being rude, pal. Well, I'm are, just saying. Because I've asked you not to oh. photo for other reasons. Oh, not mate. for anything to do with this, but for other reasons I've asked you not to do Sunrise over the back. Yeah. So seriously though, pal, um, if you don't mind me asking, or you do don't mind, but um, if I'm going to continue to talk to you, are you a police officer? No. Police, a detective? No. Police staff? No. So do you work here? Uh, no, I'm a legal representative. Ah, yeah, ah, right, okay, mate. I might need you soon. <laughs> Yeah. No, sorry, mate. I didn't mean to be. It was just. The thing, the it's the way it was like. And the, the, difficult, the difficulty I have is I, I'm a member of the public. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'll tell you so what I will I do for you, pal. To whoever I want to, whenever yeah, I yeah. Want to. Right. I'll tell you what I will do for you, pal. Um, I'll blow your face out. So you can't tell who it is. No, I'd appreciate that. Only because I. No problem. I don't necessarily want yeah. to know where I am. I'd no problem, mate. Yeah, yeah, I'd do that. Yeah, no, I mean, yeah. It's just. Sometimes I get people that, you know, and they are police and they. You know, they're just fishing. Do you know what I mean? For details, and, and there's no, yeah, I know, I know, but, but it just sort of defeats the object of what I'm doing. But yeah. You need, to, you need to know the law, or you need to know the rules. Oh, I do. I do. Oh, yeah, I do. I, I'm well versed, mate. Asking you to move your camera to see if you do. Yeah, well, of course. Yeah, well, I'm not that silly. Nah. And even if this was private property, which is not, it's public land, is, um, even if it was, is, um, under Section 30 of the Criminal Justice Act, uh, 1972 anyway, you can walk on here, so... Yeah, and it's also not a criminal thing, it's a civil act now, isn't it? Oh, I believe so. Yeah, yeah, so... The only thing that you've got yeah. to worry about is the Terrorism Act. Yeah, yeah, it's Section 43. Because they actually repealed Section 44, didn't they? 40... Yeah, 44's not there anymore. No they repealed. I think there's still 44B. I think it's still. I can't remember, but I think. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because it was being overused and uh, abused, basically. And they're doing the same with Section 43, well, yeah, of course, it was in which it. is a shame. It's a shame, right? Because I'm. This is what right? when a, when the police come up to me, mm -hmm. I explain what I'm doing. They've all had letters. I'm not being funny, but every police in the whole country. I don't know about Wales and Scotland, but I know in this country they have. Is they all had a letter, and it was years ago, sent from top top police right top uh, inspectors and all that went to every force saying that police auditors like myself people with cameras walk around and that you know approach them find out what they're doing if you can see obviously they're not a threat no problem leave them alone that is pretty much the advice they got and not one I, i've not heard one of them or i've had one or two good coppers not gonna lie and i will highlight them so if they're good mate brilliant i'll let you know and i'll yeah but yeah if you're not no Got to be how it is, isn't it? But yeah, but yeah, don't worry, mate. I'll blow your face. Thank you. Why yeah. are you filming though? I don't, I don't understand. Uh, it, it's, it's basically it, there's a movement going, and it's called Panak, and it's pho photography is not a crime, mm -hmm. all right? Um, so you know, and 
the more we, because we're losing a lot of our rights, right, at the moment, you know, before long, you're going to need passports for this, and, and there's going to be, you're going to need to show your papers. ID cards. And yeah, yeah, you. yeah, which, you know, I think is ridiculous, and it goes against all human rights that you can, well, nah, it's, it's ridiculous, and there's, there's no way they can actually enforce, it's like, there's people in, in jobs, right, and they're saying, if you don't have the vaccine, you know, no job, right? But I'm pretty sure there's going to be a few law cases and court cases for that. Yeah, I think I think that's a, it's a very dangerous. Because they're going to have to change the law to be able to keep that or do that. Well, it's a risk assessment thing, isn't it? It's health and safety. That's what it comes down to. And the health and safety, you know, is much more powerful than any criminal law. Mm. Massively. If you're yeah. putting your colleagues at risk by not having the vaccine, i.e., and being susceptible to COVID, although the vaccine doesn't stop you getting COVID. Nah. Uh, then um, 